to my channel you guys look super zoomed in hello if you are new and if you are new thank you so much for clicking on this video and i hope you enjoy it today we are going to barnes and noble and this was totally like spur of the moment i have really tried to watch how often i'm going to barnes because whenever i do go i want it to be like a super epic video of books that i get so i can do a book haul so i have waited a few weeks for this and i'm really excited to finally go i have a few books in mind that i would like to get like for instance i really want to read throne of glass if they have the assassin's blade with the new cover it's coming home with me really want anna and the french kiss but the cover that i want is on amazon and it's hardcover so i'm really torn because i really want anna and the french kiss but i don't like the paperback but i love the hardcover so and i don't like reading from hardcovers that much i'm really trying to figure out what i want to do with that one there are a couple of cute romance books i would like to pick up i just finished akatar and i love that series so much and i'm reading a romance book right now i'm reading loath to love you by ali hazelwood and while i'm sure it's great I really miss fantasy. I want to look at the fantasy section, see if there's anything that I want to pick up. Other than that, we're just going to peruse and whatever speaks to us in the moment, we might get. You guys know I always have to have a coffee. So, I already went ahead and got a coffee. Of course, I got my vanilla rosemary oat milk iced latte. This is so good. I have been obsessed with it. If you guys saw my last vlog, you know this is what i went and ordered because it's so good it's been my new thing okay we also have a guest today hey ian <laughs> ian is here with me and i'm so happy really? yeah we always go to barnes together yeah i don't go without her she didn't go no, without me ever so we're going together and i'm so excited so let's go we have a casualty yes I literally picked up my bag that I made and it's ripped. Well, not ripped, but it's unsewn right here. I literally was like, oh my gosh. And Ian was like, I'll look up a video. I'll look up a video to fix it. I'll learn how to do it so you don't have to. <laughs> You're so sweet. Just saying. Let's go. And I don't have 
exclusive so I just picked it up so I could read the bonus chapter at the end door oh, I gotta read this Yeah, looks like it. I think we got seven. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Can you tell? That's not enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, we are back in the car. We got some books. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna have to do a massive haul. It, there's so many books in there you can use as an armrest. <laughs> wow, yeah. we did good. <laughs> So good. so good. I love you all. You guys too. <laughs> we are back in our cozy, cozy corner. Oh my goodness. I am obsessed with this little book nook. Wait, reading nook. <sighs> we have a lot of books here. Oh my gosh. Okay. I guess we'll just begin oh that is like so heavy first things first i actually want to show you guys this book i didn't get this during this burns and noble run i got it like a couple of weeks ago i saw one of my more recent videos i actually drew the cheat sheet from my tbr jar and i'm not gonna lie i have not gotten to it this month i i want to read the cheat sheet but I haven't gotten to it yet. There's like three days left in February, so I might be able to get to it. So the love interest is an NFL football player. She is a ballerina and ends up getting into a car accident and her dreams of being a professional ballerina really just go out the window. So instead she kind of takes a different path and ends up owning a studio like a dance studio and the rent is increasing and she's just really worried that she won't be able to keep owning the studio and then her best friend who's the love interest he ends up paying for the studio like 
buying the whole building. Then she has one too many tequila shots, ends up talking to a TMZ reporter. She tells the reporter everything because she's upset that he bought the building for her. Now the world thinks that they're a couple and they ship them and so I really want to read this, it sounds so cute. Actually, talking about it makes me want to read it. I love Sarah J Mass. I finally got my hands on the Assassin's Blade. I am so freaking excited to read this, this series, but it is a long one. I love her writing. I love Prithian. I love the world of Akatar, and I'm not ready to say goodbye. I just need some Sarah J Moss in my life. So, Mass, Mass. I need some Sarah J Mass back in my life. I'm gonna read you the back of the book. Miss Sardothian is her kingdom's most feared assassin. Though she works with the powerful Assassin's Guild and its scheming master, Aerobin Hamill, she yields to no one and trusts only her fellow killer for higher Sam. But when Aerobin dispatches her on missions that take her from remote islands to hostile deserts, Selena finds herself acting independently of his wishes and questioning her own allegiance. If she hopes to escape Aerobin's clutches, Selena will have to put her faith in her wits and her blade, knowing that if she fails, she'll lose not just a chance at freedom, but her life. I cannot read today. Knowing that if she fails, she'll lose not just a chance at freedom, but her life. So this is the prequel to Throne of Glass. This is comprised of five novellas, and I know a lot of people have said that you can read this before you read Throne of Glass, or you can read it, I believe, after the third book. I can't quite remember, but I just decided that I wanted to read it before Throne of Glass. A good introduction to Selena and the world, so I figured I would read it first in the new cover. Look at the new cover. It is so Book number two. I have wanted this book for so long. Kisses and croissants. This sounds so adorable. I have had this on my TBR for a long time. I mean, the cover alone is super cute. Mia Jinro has, I don't know if that's how you say her last name has always known she's destined to be a professional ballerina. She's thrilled to be spending a magical summer in France pursuing her dream, but as she pirouettes into Paris, she realizes it may be a bit more complicated than she hoped. Rivals and impossible instructors nearly push her to the breaking point. And then there's Louis, devastatingly, distractingly charming Louis. He's eager to show Mia his city, and Mia's more than happy to hop on his Vespa, <laughs> her arms around him as they pass the gleaming lights of the Eiffel Tower. Mia's summer was supposed to be about ballet, but there's a reason Paris is called the city of love. I am on a Paris kick this year. Um, I really want to go to Paris, so yeah, I picked it up. I love romances that involve um, like traveling abroad and finding love there. I think it's so cute. That's one of my favorite tropes, so. Is that even a trope? I don't know. So happy about this one. I have been thinking about this book for so long and I finally got it. I can't believe I got this one over the beautiful hardcover, but Anna and the French Kiss. Going off of this French thing, I don't know. I'm obsessed with, I'm obsessed with Paris right now. This is about a girl named Anna. Her father sends her to school abroad in Paris and she ends up meeting a cute French boy and kind of similar to Kisses and Croissants, but I'm sure it's like totally different. So she has a crush on a boy back in Atlanta and then her father sends her off to Paris for school and she meets this cute French boy and he also is like kind of taken, he is with someone as well and she's like kind of taken i guess and so anyway i'm not sure what's gonna come about from that but i think i got a couple of the books from my 23 books that i want to read in 2023 and this is one of them this is the faithful and the fallen series by john gwen ian has read these and he absolutely loves this series i'm really excited to read these especially because i 
am really getting into fantasy. I am like obsessed with fantasy right now. This is what the first book looks like. It's called Malice. The second book is Valor, the third one is Ruin, and the fourth is Wrath. Do you wanna tell them? You can read the back. You want me to read the back? Yeah. Okay. The world is broken. Corbin wants nothing more than to be a warrior under King Brennan's. Brennan's role to protect and serve, but that day will come all too soon and the price he pays will be in blood. Evanus has sacrificed too much it seems, but what he wants, the power to rule, will soon be in his grasp and nothing will stop him once he has started on his path. Veratus is the newest member of the war band for the High Prince, Nether. He is one of the most skilled swordsmen to come out of his homeland, yet he is always under the shadow of his older brother. Ooh, Veratus sounds interesting. Nether has ideas and a lot of plans. Many of them don't involve his father, the High King Achilles, nor does he agree with his father's idea to summon his fellow kings to council. This is literally Eris. Yeah, no, that's fair. It's literally Eris from Akatar. Eris and Nether have a lot of similarities. Really? Okay, I already can tell that I'm going to love this series because I love politics so much and so i'm really excited to read this okay and there we have it those are all the books that we got today from our barnes and noble run i love book shopping i is it weird to say that that's my hobby do you want for everything i'm taking my time thinking just so i'm sure what we do Something that can last We can mess it up if we keep moving too fast oh. You say you're the only one for me yeah. So if you love me then tell me how much longer do I have to wait I'm not getting any stronger I'm losing my faith And I could be wrong because I need ideas. I always could use ideas. So I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.